Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is showing someone who is uninterested, someone who is feeling a bit apathetic at this time, um, or someone who's just not seeing what is being offered to them. This person is really, um, I'm seeing they're not interested in what's being offered to them. It's too small for them, or they're just not seeing it. They can be emotionally unavailable, or there's just this energy of having their head down. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, the Tower, Mars Energy, and we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse, um, Air Energy. So you could be dealing with someone who's very emotionally unavailable here. And I'm seeing here, you could have tried very hard with this person with that Four of Cups, but it's like this person was very um, distracted or and I'm, I'm seeing that this person just wasn't giving as much to the situation. And the tower here showing up, it, it, there's this energy of kind of accepting it um, because this tower moment is really coming in to show you the truth of the situation. I'm seeing here there's an energy of rejection is divine protection. The seven of swords is showing that um, the truth can't be ran away from here. You can't avoid the truth of the situation. The writing is on the wall you're seeing someone for who they are there is an energy of not looking at them through rose-colored glasses and instead you're freeing yourself from the situation with that eight of swords there's an energy of not holding yourself back or staying stuck in a situation that's just um, not serving you and this can be your own anxieties that were keeping you here they, they could have been a lot of ruminating overthinking but i am seeing here there's a tower moment that's taking place that's going to show you just how unavailable this person is and from this place of understanding this and seeing this you may have to redirect and you may make this conscious choice to free yourself from this so let's clarify these cards leo Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this card in the reverse is showing, again, choosing to move on from something that you may perceive as being a loss, an emotional loss especially. And this is it's like leaving this behind, leaving it in your past, and recognizing that there's plenty more fish in the sea. There's other opportunities for you. There's an energy of not ruminating on something that just didn't work out. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Knight of Cups, Water Energy, and the Death card, Scorpio Energy. So you have a lot of people that are interested in you. There's other opportunities. The Five of Cups does show there's still two cups standing here, and we see two people here who are interested in you. There's other offers here. So I do see you are leaving something behind. With the Death card, there's, there's an energy of moving on or letting go of something that just, you know, was quite a disappointment. Um, but we do see... People with the page of pentacles, that does look like a new person. It's someone who wants to invest in something with you and someone who their efforts will match their, uh, their, their words. This is someone who will really go the extra mile. This is someone who cares. This is someone who's not afraid to put in time, energy, and to make something work. And with the Knight of Cups, we're seeing someone who is emotionally available, someone who actually has feelings to give, they have love to offer, and they are sincere, and they are um, the type of person who is emotionally expressive, they wear their heart on their sleeve. So you do have better options, and there's a reason why it didn't work out with this person, because 
the universe knows that there's better for you so i do see an energy of rejection is divine protection here there's an energy of moving forward okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you leo So the card says, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So with the Taurus energy, I'm seeing this as you know your worth. You recognizing that you don't have to be stuck here. And there is this energy of moving forward and accepting a situation for what it is. Being more practical about the situation and not looking at someone through rose-colored glasses. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Leo. So we have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So I am seeing here, you have people here who are interested in you. You could already have met these people. Um, but it's like you may not have been seeing these offers because you were focused on someone else, someone from your past or someone where there was just some sort of letdown or disappointment. So I do see with this, you've already met your romantic partner. You see, there could be someone here who is already present in your life, who has feelings for you. And it's like the, the connections haven't really been explored yet. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Leo. So we have dangerous pleasure. The secret of reaping the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to live dangerously. Okay, so I am seeing here there's an energy here of um, getting out of your comfort zone, allowing new love in, allowing other people, exploring other opportunities or other connections here. Um, and there is an energy of, again, it's like this can be someone who you could have felt comfortable here because with the Five of Cups, it's like, you could have been attached. There could have been a lot of history with that person. But there is an energy of a transition needing to take place with the death card. And the transition can be a bit scary because the death card is quite uh, dramatic. It's intense. But there is an energy of this tower and this death card is, is a transition. It's leading you to something else. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Leo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Leo. Bye, Leo.